He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The last good hole of the SS Hostonia glittered and the soothing warm yellow light of the settling sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean reaching towards the castle of Portugal and thought, Is this another dream? Ah, uh, don't think so, Daniel. Different main hall. Creepy statue with the legs. Let's explore it, shall we? I hope there wasn't any notes to pick up in that section. Um, I'm guessing we go that way. All we can just enter the study. Is this another dream he thought? And screamed at the top of his lungs. Are we supposed to be in the study? No mementos are available. I don't know if we're supposed to be here yet, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. <laughs> Also, I hope you're all having a splendid day, evening, and night. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weil. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the pers Persian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as an inexplicable as the Holy Dreams described it in the Hortus Conclusion. Conclusus. It was that it was told about an underground Merak temple crowned with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hand, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed white, washed while red. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within the stone. I was staying in a neighbor village called Alstad, investigating one of the antiquarts rails, when I finally found a cabin. I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because my curiosity, I did my best to fight his instincts and fetch the orb from his place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bailed loudly as it closed in. The beast, the guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a neighbor ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard the cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and refined me and rained and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a greasy field outside Diona. The Guardian had taken the oar from me. But still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes, I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It's been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't able, been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research on the mythical orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstead. 
your friend and mentor, Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Oh, Cornelius. Oh, Henrius. I forgot his first name already. <laughs> I'm bad with names, okay? I mean, at least there's light there. Uh, also, this is not good. Animal experiments. Canius Lupus Familiaris, 1658, April the 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agonization found among humans can be found in the dog. We are in pain and use stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might mean their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately arguments their experience of terror. Come on! Really? Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. What the hell? That's not dogs. Excuse me, sir. You are doing illegal things now. Just wanna have it said. Um. Yeah, no. Yes, no. There we got something in the moment too. Find a way around the rumble in the study. Uh, we found our way. We throw a chair at it, see what happens. Don't be any corner, right? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, lantern oil. Hold on, missed that. What's in the box? Oh. Uh, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be here yet. That does not s sound or look good. And that isn't good. How did I fall down? Read carefully. Yeah, I will take that into consideration. Where are we? Okay, so we just do the jumps again. Hopefully not failing this time. Oh, wrong way. Are we done here, actually? Here we are. Why is this the way we're supposed to go? Oh. When will it be my turn? I have not shown resistance. My patience spawned centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even wasted the breath. Yet about you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. That doesn't sound good. Oh, oil. Yes, please. Low cycle rod. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engines to build up pressure before challenging into the machinery. Adjust the lever to the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity stem set function. Four phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not shake proper configuration until all rods are inserted. So I guess we have to fix an elevator. Hello? 
Why the dogs, man? Why the dogs? Was this all we had to do in the study? I think it was cool. Um, okay. Let's just ignore that. Everything's perfectly normal. It's a sunny day. It's like, how do you lose Sandy? Hello? We've been in here, right? Yes, we have. And we've called up a lantern oil, even though there wasn't much. The back, the back hall. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock it was. It's enough. I'm not sure if we were supposed to be there yet. Where do we are? Guest room, can we go here? He tried to fit the pieces together. But like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. In the box, crowbar? Someone really tore the place up. Oh, crotches, we don't like those. Um, not sure what we need this for, though, there are two notes there. Uh, and some more that. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is that a peg? But no, it was a rabbit or a bunny. I think it's a rabbit. Uh, okay, let's start with this note. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. That doesn't sound good. Those are cockroaches. They always get me. I have no idea why. Let's see. July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Um, multiple orbs. Pick up the oil. Yes, that's why we found a crowbar.
When a game tells you to hide, you hide. Important key is sitting in the guest room. It's safe. Sounds like it. Close the door. Nothing to see here. One more note. Um. Anything in these? No. Fourth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay. Good peek. Seems fine. What did we do here, actually? We just got story, was that it? Back form. I guess that was his backstory. He flipped through the book of monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe have been decided with an orb resting in their hand. The pick, not decided. So that door blew open earlier. Now it's closed. We we'll check this one then. We came from here. We have some lantern oils, that's fine. What's down here? Storage. Let's take a dive into storage and see what we can find. Sir William Smith have been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Oh, this does not look good. Darkness and storage was strange and unnatural. Oh, I was saying it didn't look good. Anything in this one? No, that's just a box. We just go left. Check all the doors. Close them behind us as we go. And then we wait and see. Why so many tinder boxes? Real parts. Like with final sound, I think. I mean, I don't mind statics. Can see anything though? We need to take it that way. Open. Heading to machine parts. So well, that didn't get us far. Anything in here? One pouch.
I think I'm actually going to light a couple of the torches so we can see a bit better. Like, if there is something here, I kind of want to see it before it sees me. And I guess we go further down. Little oil we have, long circle and drill parts. Guessing the drill part has something to do with these barrels. Oh, let me do that. Okay, let's like this one. We do have quite a lot of matches. Secondary. That means there's a first thing. Those are the behinds. In the boxes, drill parts. Some items can be combined in the inventory. A monster can see us up there, right? Or get to us. Like this? Let me do that. Okay, so we're missing something. Holy shit. Not seeing anything. Or any one, which is kind of scary part because that that sound was something. We're getting way too many tinder boxes. Oil, please be oil. Thank you. Why gave me hell? We have five health vials. I don't like that. Normally when a game gives you health, you are going to take damage. Holy... Okay, let's check this door. Pick a boo. Check the room, then we pick up the note, and then there was an item there as well. Oh, so Doris, we do this. Oh, it's just a hammer, never mind, it's a note. Regarding explosive mixture. Mixture. Alexander. I have prepared explosives you need for clear clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather branded servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for all ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. Gripper. Okay, so that was secondary. That means there's one more. Where's the first one, though? Am I missing something? Oh, okay. Real parts. Is that why we need to combine them? It is. Small carpenter's drill. Wait, can we use this part? What are you? Primary. Okay, so here it is. No use, the vessel's rusted shot. Place you there. So, we are going to be carrying explosives in him inventory now. That seems perfectly sensible. Yeah, I'll just win. And uh, I guess we go back to the rubble. Yeah, the rubble from the cavern is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Explosives. <laughs> well, I mean, that is a way through. I don't like running. I actually.
actually prefer going slow in this game. Mainly because I can't see shit over there. Light some torches. Anyone over here? No one, okay. Like this one as well. Explosives. Don't stand too close to the blast when the explosion goes off. Wait, I throw something at it? But I suck at aiming, game. Okay. Didn't have to aim too badly. Um... Can you use one, you get one. Kinda like that, right? Not gonna lie. Machine parts. storage. I remember this spot because I trolled Max in there. I got him killed, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Machine parts. Get through here. Oh wait, the door goes outwards. Never mind. Um, what's in here? Given that you were in there, it has to be something important. All it could just be a ton of tinderboxes. Yeah, tinderboxes it is. Um, where is that guy? He is gone. Well, now there was one more door, I think. Yeah. Okay, I bought those pickaxes. This was that. Blue cheese, anyone? Well, I guess blue bread. It's gonna come in handy. Burning through a lot of oil currently. We we'll light this one. Maybe that's gonna help the situation a bit. Yeah, I know it's still dark over here, so let's light this. Why are the pig carcasses there? Do they have any importance? Where did he go? Did we come from here? No. Pass mechanism. Or machine. Machine parts. I got the first one. That burnt my hand. Wounded quite badly. Give me today that one. All good. Okay, let's just heal fully. 
can't really hide it. It is way too bright. So I guess we go in there. In case of a missing rod. If a full set of three rods isn't available, there is one rod in the inner study room which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it's absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Well, we have that one already. Oh shit. So we have three rods. Pick up tinderbox? Is, is it safe to move? Okay, we're losing Sandy, but I don't want to use a lantern oil while we're waiting like this. Um. Because I have to. Yeah, I don't have any more oil left. This is what I have. I did light up the wall here, the way here, though. So maybe if we're lucky, we can see something? I will run back to that room if I have to. I mean, like it. Don't see anything. Oh, I see. Where did he go? Oh, he's coming this way. I'm not sure if it's safe to stay here. Look like this and see if we can see him walk past us. I guess we run. But I will pick up the in the boxes. <laughs> So dead, aren't I? Yep. Run. Run. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay. 